Do you ever get the feeling that with all the talk about ozone layers, global warming, obesity, cancer, poverty, child onset diabetes, and oil spills, that the idea of saving the planet can be a bit overwhelming? When you take a look at it all, it's as though our health is directly related to the health of the planet, and vice versa, as if this big blue spinning ball were really just a big mirror of ourselves in a way. Consider these facts. Over 50% of greenhouse gas emissions come from animals used for food. And the Cancer Research Fund says that if we stopped eating animals for food, we would reduce the risk of up to 17 kinds of cancer. Well, that doesn't even mention heart disease and stroke. There's a connection here. There's a connection between our health and the health of the planet. The best foods for human health are leafy green vegetables, and these are also the foods that have the least negative impact on the environment. The best foods for us are the best foods for the planet. Now, if you're wondering whether you can live on greens and lettuce, here are a few more facts. 30% of the calories in spinach comes from protein. Collard greens have more calcium and it's easier to absorb than milk. Kale has 27% more vitamin C than oranges. So what would happen if people replaced their morning bacon with Brussels sprouts, or their ham sandwich with romaine lettuce wraps, and their evening plate of steak and potatoes with Swiss chard and parsley? Okay, I know Brussels sprouts and parsley and Swiss chard don't necessarily leave your salivary glands begging for more, but that's where green smoothies come in. You can take just about any nutritionally dense leafy green vegetable, something even bitter like dandelion leaves, and if you mix it in a blender with sweet fruits like bananas and mangoes, you will get the most nutritionally complete, totally delicious meal you've had in years, and you can completely compost the leftovers. This is Victoria Butenko. She's the one who figured out that the missing link in people's diets were really green leafy vegetables, and so she started blending them with fruits, and the results have changed thousands of people's lives for the better. Now these are some of the girls at the Lower East Side Girls Club. These girls are doing some pretty big things to make the world a better place. They're learning how to eat the foods that make them healthy. They're contributing to community-supported agriculture programs. And they go into schools in low-income areas, and they teach other children about how to eat well and how to stay fit. They're participating in environmental activism, and they're making a big difference by doing little things. But because of the income of their parents and their families, they can't really do these things without people like you and me who help to make it happen. And as overwhelming as it can be sometimes to think about what it takes to save the planet, it just takes a couple seconds of looking into the eyes of a child to make it really clear why we need to work together to make a better world. We don't need to be paralyzed by oil spills and ozone layers anymore. We need to believe in a world where our children's children can have fresh air, clean water, and a safe place to play. And we need to do something to make that world happen. August 15th is International Green Smoothie Day, and in honor of this event, we're hosting a 10-day green smoothie challenge. So for 10 days, you'll receive a full program of support, recipes, and inspiration for a green smoothie challenge. We'll even be offering a contest to give away a free Blendtec blender. You don't need any special experience to do this. You don't need any fancy equipment. Anyone can do it. Now, to help us make this event extra special, we've invited 10 big thinkers. People like Julia Butterfly Hill, Majora Carter, Phaedra Ellis Lampkins, Annie Pio, and others. These are people who know how to make a difference, who will teach and inspire us throughout the program to implement small changes that will make a big difference in improving our world. It only costs $10 to participate in this event. Now, most people spend that much on a medium pizza. So here's the really cool part. 100% of the registration money we receive will go to support the Lower East Side Girls Club and their nutrition program. So every single dollar goes to help the girls in the Lower East Side. Even if you can't afford the $10 right now to support the girls, you can still help out by signing up for the calls and spreading the word about this event on your Facebook or Twitter and just chatting over the backyard fence so that you and others can get on board to help make this happen. 
So if you can share your $10 donation, then when you're sitting there smiling and sipping your smoothies, you'll know that you're not just doing something to help yourself or to help the girls on the Lower East Side. You'll be doing something to save the planet. If you believe in green, click the $10 button now, make your donation, and sign up to join us to help support a big idea whose time has come. Thank you.